arbitrationagreements.org. Today, let's delve into a subject that many find perplexing. Who bears the cost of arbitration? Allow us to enlighten you with some facts and figures that you might find fascinating. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date about important alternative dispute resolution topics, which can help your customers stay happy and keep costs low when problems occur at your company. First, let us understand that the financial responsibility of arbitration can indeed vary considerably. Traditionally, the parties involved share the costs equally. This approach fosters a sense of fairness and mutual responsibility, which is a cornerstone of the arbitration process. In 2018, a survey revealed that 89% of the respondents preferred arbitration as their dispute resolution mechanism. This preference is largely due to the flexibility it offers, including the flexibility in determining how the costs are allocated. Furthermore, sometimes the arbitration agreement or the rules of the arbitration institution might dictate the allocation of costs. In such scenarios, the losing party might be required to bear the costs, which is often seen as a way to discourage frivolous claims and to promote the resolution of disputes in a timely and cost-effective manner. Statistics show that the average cost of international arbitration is about $600,000. This sum is substantial, and parties often negotiate and decide upon who will bear these costs in their arbitration agreement. They might even decide to share the costs in different proportions depending on various factors like the complexity of the case or the financial capacity of the parties involved. Now, let's talk about administrative fees which are usually payable to the arbitration institution overseeing the dispute. These institutions typically have a fee schedule which is often based on the amount in dispute. It's noteworthy that in many cases these administrative fees are significantly lower than what one might incur in litigation thereby making arbitration a more cost-effective choice for many. If you want to learn more information about who pays for arbitration, please visit arbitrationagreements.org. That is where you can purchase what you need to start the dispute resolution process in the correct fashion to handle issues online. Our association does not provide legal advice, but many people from multiple industries use our services to navigate claims in a controlled manner through a cost-effective framework. If you're interested in doing that as a business, give us a call. In fact, big companies use arbitration because it helps them control costs. You're paying one service per case instead of having uncontrolled expenses that any normal lawsuit would cost. That's the real reason people use arbitration. Also, what do you think about arbitration? What made you interested in learning about it? Drop a comment below and let us know. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can receive the latest updates about dispute resolution that can help your business succeed.